Hello and welcome everybody to SnowRunner Saturdays Part 5. It's the fifth week doing this. Having quite a good time. We're over a hundred hours into SnowRunner so far. Last time we left it, I had accidentally dropped this large or the, these two large pipes. <laughs> Trying to back up and turn around here. So what we're going to do today is detach the trailer and we're going to recover the P12 back to the garage and switch out the high saddle for the heavy crane so that we can go back out there and load those large pipes. So that's what we're going to start out with. Hope everybody had a good Christmas, if that's what you celebrate. If not, I hope you just had a good random Friday. <laughs> Let me turn the headlights on. And I actually need to mark out where I was. I was in Mountain River, I believe. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to go drive out to Mountain River. tip the P12 right as we start. Let me turn on all-wheel drive also. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I left this truck out right in the middle of the road. Not very smart. Let's go to first person. like just shakes <laughs> just all that raw power with no like shock absorbers or anything <laughs> no sound editing all right and we're gonna drive right by the fuel station since we have a full tank or just under a full tank paved road. Boom, boom, boom. I have to say, after playing this for five weeks now, at least every Saturday for the past five weeks, um, it runs really well on PS5. So much better than the PS4 Pro. Whoa, Gargra. from this song. <laughs> Let me skip this. I don't like that at all. Get out of here. There we go. Alright, we're almost to the Mountain River Tunnel. Just need to keep going up. Just a little bit farther. Just have to go up this hill and then it's to the right. Let's 
go back to third person. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, let me just make sure. Yeah, we go up to the right. Unless... Oh no, this is, this is where I dropped them. Okay. So let me go left here. And then I'll take this right. So let me mark right there. And then I'm gonna mark that too. I could have got there a lot quicker. <laughs> if, I, if I had been paying attention. But that's not too big a deal. Let's make our way over there. road trail turn p12 turn there you go bud oh geez oh geez Alright, we need to take this right too, so I'm gonna cut the corner a little bit. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, we're almost back to the warehouse to pick up those two large pipes. And the large pipes actually don't seem to weigh too much so this crane can pick them up quite easily. Shouldn't be a problem loading these. Just try and get by the trailer. Kinda wanna get along the other side of the trailer, if I can. Yep, there we go. Okay, I think I'll anchor right there. Activate the anchor, go into crane mode. Good thing you can just go through the electrical lines. <laughs> That'd be crazy if you got hung up on them. Alright. Whoops. It's attached to the trailer. No trailer. Oh, come on, trailer. Oh, there we go. Alright. We can pick this up. And like I said, see, it's not, it doesn't seem like it weighs too much. So we can easily put this back on the trailer. Rotate it. Drop it. Alright, let's see if we can get this one. Keeps trying to attach to the trailer. Yeah, I might need to move the truck a little bit. So let me go back here. Restore the crane. And try and get a little closer. a little bit closer.
I think that should be good. So let's activate those anchors again, get back into crane mode. And get by this light pole if I can. Oh, it just goes right through it. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can grab this now. And it keeps connecting to the trailer. There we go. Alright. Winch this thing up. And drop it. And try and move that a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Oh, the, the anchor from the truck is in the trailer. <laughs> Alright, let me restore the crane. And we're gonna recover it back to the garage. And we're gonna take off the crane. For the high saddle. And then get back out there. Headlights. And now since I know where I'm going, and <laughs> not going up to Mount River, let me um, just plan out where we're going to drive. Oh. That locked onto the service hub. So we're going to go down that road, cross the bridge, go along here, take this left. So let me mark that. Drive down, drive down. Take this left. And then just stay along the road. Alright. Let's head out. You know what I'm gonna do real quick? Bear with me, bear with me. I'm just gonna move the chat box right in the middle at the bottom. I think it'll be better down there. All right, there we go. It shouldn't take us too long to get out there. And then once we get to the trailer with the large pipes that we just recovered, we'll hook onto the trailer, pack the cargo, and then make our way out to Mountain River again. And that'll be the final delivery, I believe. I don't think there's a second uh, section after delivering these. I think this is the last one. So we should get quite a bit of money once we deliver these. I think close to 30,000, so that'll be cool. All right, take this left. Oh, don't run over the guardrail. There we go. And once we hook back onto the trailer, we all, we need to pop open the map and decide which route we're gonna take, because it's it's such a long trailer that it's gonna be difficult to get it down some of the side trails. So we'll have to plan out our route carefully. Take another left. And 
then we just stay on this road to get down to the warehouse. <clears throat> to take a longer route to at least stay on pavement with the trailer so it might go out this way that we're coming in because it's pretty wide too besides that rock in the road right there it's a pretty wide road so we don't have to worry about pinning the trailer to, to a tree or something like that to turn around. Um, let's see if I can just go up this <laughs> this hill a little bit. Hop over the guardrail. Alright, it's working out. Hi, Chungy Bungy. How are you this morning? Alright, let's attach to this. Should be close enough. Oh, too far away a little bit. Oh, yeah, Massey, I, I agree. The P, In my opinion, the P12 is better than the 16 also. Hey, thanks for following, Chungy Bungy. Oh man, that was, I think I just got farther away from the trailer. Let me redo that. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Alright, there we go. Attached too far away? What? Oh, I kind of slid back a little bit. There we go. Alright, attach and pack the cargo. And let's plan out the trip a little bit. So we need to get up to the Mountain River Tunnel. So I'm thinking about going out the way we came. And then I think we'll take this left. So let me put a little marker there. We'll come up this road. That's pretty wide. It is dirt, or pavement and dirt in some sections. And then take that left there. That should be pretty easily get through there. Alright, let's head out. Hopefully we don't have another mistake. <laughs> and dump the trailer. Oh, Chungy Buggy, the your you you put a period instead of an M in someone and it thought it was a link. Um but I still see your message, it just like deleted it for the chat. Uh, let me see, like... Oh, thanks though. <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm a pretty... Um, a lot of people just call me like a chill streamer. I don't really <laughs> go crazy or anything. Just play the game. And I play SnowRunner on Saturdays. As evidenced by my title. <laughs> Oh, you got it a couple weeks ago, Massey? That's cool. Yeah, and then during the week I go live um, at 3 p.m. EST. So weekend streams are earlier at 7 a.m. EST. And then currently Sundays are Demon Souls Sundays on PS5. Yeah, same Bungie. I got um, I got this when it came out in 
March, I think. I think that's when it came out. And then I think I'm level 22. 21 or 22. Mm, 22. this turn a little wide get this long trailer through here oh you just want the new maps yeah it's um I bought the season pass a few weeks ago now but I haven't done anything besides use the vehicles from it that you get for free um, I've just been slowly working my way through each of the maps doing all the missions and stuff so we're working on the Alaska maps right now and then after that it'll be um, probably the Russia maps. Tamir, or whatever they're called. Oh, you're level 24, Massey. That's great. Yeah, I don't get levels, um, really fast. Since I only play on Saturdays now, and I don't play co-op or anything. I just like playing single player in it. Carving away at the missions. gear there. <laughs> Couldn't make it up the hill. We'll do low plus. Oh yeah, Massey? Cool. Yeah, I've only ever watched people play co-op. Oh, there's just a random rock in the Oh. <laughs> there's now a rock on my hood. <laughs> it's just going for a ride. All right, let me shift back to automatic. All right, we're gonna have to take this left again. So we're gonna go a little wide. I have to go across this bridge. <clears throat> oh, PC and then Xbox? Cool. Yeah, I'm on PS5 currently. have to make it up this hill. Hopefully not drag the pipes on the rock and flip the trailer. Ah, uh, I see you guys. Alright, through the tunnel to Mountain River. I think it might actually move the chat back to the side. I might turn the font down a tiny bit. And I think I'll put it like right above the handbrake. Right there. There we go. Alright, so we're going to the warehouse. Yeah, the P-12 is, is good for so many missions. <laughs> it has so much power, great traction when you have good tires. It's, it's an all-around great truck. Let's see. I think I'm going to come down the paved for as much as I can and then take this offshoot right there. Because it's actually not as bad as it looks. It's just like snow-covered. 
So we're gonna head down that way and then loop around and come up. So let's take a left. Turn all wheel drive back on. And we'll also pass a fuel station. So we'll fill up the tanks while we're going by. Zoom out a little bit. Oh, hitting the guardrail. Trying to take a little bit of a wider turn to get this trailer by. Hopefully it doesn't tip. Should just drag along the telephone pole. Okay, in the fuel station. Should be able to get in and out of here quite easily. At least that's the plan anyways. Alright, full tank of gas. There we go. And we're already at the hill. Yep, all good. Made it through there. <clears throat> and see that this little hill isn't that bad. It looks worse on the map. over the ice and we have chain tires so it's not bad at all we might have to shift to low plus for this little yeah I'm just gonna shift into it right now just so we keep momentum try and go as wide as we can to get this trailer through It's doing good. Only a little bit of tire spin. Still a lot of traction. Come on. Come on. Alright. I'm going to spin in now. Let me shift to automatic. Wow, 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 wow. All right, through these two trailers. Oh, I forgot there was a little scout fuel trailer there. I could have just fueled up from that. All right, deliver. Ooh, rank 23 now. And we just got 23,000 bucks. Cool. All right, let's figure out what we want to work on next. See which contract. Oh, Cargo Apocalypse Part Two. <laughs> yeah, I use, I use the P12 for everything, Timmy. <laughs> All right, from water to the land, more parts. What's in Morrison Mining? Supply crates, lumber mill supplies. In White Valley, they just want four consumables. Well, that's not too bad. Let's just do that one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, track that one. And I think... I think I'm just gonna drop... Hmm. Let me see where the nearest trailer store is. There's one out there. I think I might turn around or try to with this long trailer and then come back up and, and sell the trailer there. Let's see if I can back it out. Mm. 
Maybe. Gonna try and go around this tree. Just bump that trailer out of the way. <laughs> Do you see the trailer flex there? <laughs> Wait, let me try and pull it forward a little bit more. The background music is Pretzel Rocks. It's a service built right into Streamlabs OBS. Um, but the current song is Moments Part 1 by Abstraction. I just have it on a ambient playlist right now. May switch it to a different station later on. This is such a long trailer. <laughs> it's so annoying turning it around. Come on. Almost there. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's what you listen to the most? That's cool. Yeah, I like it for playing in SnowRunner, just because it's it's just calming background music. Nothing too distracting. It's nice. Alright, we could we could go right there onto that trail, but I think I'm going to go up this way again and just go across the bridge because there's a bit of a tight spot up there between the trees. I don't think this trailer will get through there as easily. Massey. Yeah, exactly. It's usually usually between this ambient playlist or there's a lo-fi playlist that I play all the time. Like I've, I've been streaming Fall Guys here and there um, for a couple hours after like a main game, and I've been I remove the background music from Fall Guys and just go to a lo-fi like hip hop station works out pretty good it's because after playing fall guys for so many hours you get i mean at least i get sick of the repetitiveness of the main music over and over and over <laughs> all right let's get down here because the trailer store is down here and we can sell this long trailer for now and we'll get a four place trailer so we can pick up all these consumables There we go. Oops, not quite close enough. There we go. All right, sell this. And then I'm going to turn around so that it's easier to get out once we get the trailer. I do remember that to me. So we need a four place trailer. We could do the ramped flatbed. Or we could do... We could do the wide flatbed. It's a five place trailer, but I do like the wide flatbed semi-trailer. Oh, you were parking them side by side to see? That's cool. I 
think I'm gonna do the wide flatbed. Uh, I need to pull forward a little bit more. There we go. All right, let's go over to that service hub to get those consumables. Or hold on a second, let me check the map. Yeah, we can pick them up from the service hub. And we're going to White Valley. So which tunnel are we going through? Oh, this tunnel. Okay, so we're we're going to go across the bridge, get them and come all the way back. So let me just see where we're going in White Valley. To the sawmill. Okay. Okay, that's not going to be too difficult. No wonder we're only getting like 3,000 bucks for it. a tricky turn with a, a long trailer just because the telephone pole right there and then the guardrail on the right makes it more narrow than it seems but luckily most of the trailers can just pop over the guardrail a little bit and we'll get fuel on the way back since we have to backtrack this way anyway Jeez, I think the, tra <laughs> yeah, the 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 wheels on the trailer hit the guardrail of the bridge. Let me back up a little bit. Go more towards the right. Yeah, I have it set to gallons. American units. <laughs> All right, let's go right here. All right, at least we don't need to go far for the consumables. into the service hub take out their sign <laughs> oh signs hooked for a ride I guess all right consumables so let's load up four of these there we go now we just need to turn around. Oh. Oh, what the? What the? Oh, God. It's glitching. <laughs> that sign just screwed me. <laughs> um, okay, then. Let me just get rid of those, and I'll just get more. <laughs> that was crazy. All right. Nothing happened. just avoid this sign. It's the devil's sign. Alright, that should be enough to back up. Oh god, I might hit the sign. Oh no, it disappeared. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nice physics. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 
I should have known something like that was going to happen. <laughs> it, it always acts funky when you get a sign stuck beneath the truck. Alright, off to White Valley. And we'll, like I said before, we'll stop at the fuel station as we drive by. And then it's paved roads most of the way there. Except once we need to get to the lumber mill in White Valley. Just need to take a dirt road for a little bit. But mainly paved roads the way there. Alright, pull in here and get some fuel. tank. Then the tunnel's just right up ahead. Just tap the guardrail a little bit. Did everyone have a good Christmas? If you celebrate Christmas, that is. I had a good one. It was uh, good seeing some family. Not everyone, of course, because of Corona, but... Saw some family members, so that was nice. Oh, jeez. Gonna see a few more today. I think I'm gonna see my niece. I got my niece a Baby Yoda, like, doll. It looks really lifelike, actually. The eyes in it are, like, sort of, like, marble-looking. Like, they're, like, glass. So they look really lifelike. It's crazy. I had it on the kitchen table before I wrapped it, and my cat was, like, freaked out <laughs> by it. His tail got all bushy and everything, and he ran, <laughs> ran away. It's pretty funny. Alright, let's head down to the lumber mill. Which I don't know the best way to get there, so let me pop open the map. We're gonna go paved roads most of the way. All the way past the fuel station, really, and then... Go up this dirt road, and then backtrack a little bit. Or we could go down here and take the dirt road there and go down that way, but I haven't been that way yet, so I think I'll do paved road. Yeah, and then we'll take this, this left. Oh, good time for you too, Timmy. Cool, cool. Six cats? Oh man, that's a lot of cats. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had, even growing up, I think, I think we never had more than three cats. I think the most we had was like three cats and two dogs, and that's a, that's a handful. <laughs> that's a lot of animals in one house. Oh, three of them are sisters? That's cool. Yeah, my current cat... Um, my, my mom actually has its his brother, so we have two of the same cats, but different households, but it's funny to see the, the differences in them. All 
right down the hill. Yeah. I think we'll stop at the fuel station that we're going to pass, just to be safe. So I don't want to get stuck out on the dirt road on the way to the lumber mill, just in case. Yep, yeah, I already did that to me. I took the P-12 down, actually. <laughs> I took the P-12 down there with just the high saddle on it, um, hooked up to that truck, and then I pulled it down the river, basically, because the river is pretty shallow. So I just drove it down the river and then got up on the road on a um, smaller incline. It actually went pr it went a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> All right. Over the bridge. Oof. Beam to the head. Alright, so we'll stop. Uh, we don't really need to stop at the fuel station. We still have 85 gallons. That's more than enough. <laughs> Maybe if I was at like half a tank, but we'll sh we should be fine. I would hope. <laughs> if I waste 80 gallons getting to this lumber mill, that'd be pretty bad on me. <laughs> All right, down this little path. Yep, yeah, exactly. I have the... Is it the Advanced Special or is it the... It might be the off-road gearbox that I have on the P12. Oh, are we stuck? No, let me shift down. There we go. Sort of a weird angle for the trailer. Probably shift it back to automatic. Or I could have done like low high. It is quite muddy. Really muddy. I think I'll stick to the right. Because the left looks a lot more muddier. Looks a little bit rockier over here. This might be easier to get through here. Oh yeah. There we go. That wasn't that bad. Very narrow through here. Oh man, <laughs> very narrow. Alright, let's see. We might need to winch the back of the trailer to get it around this tree. I'll try it first. Yeah, so let me attach the back of the trailer. That one, and we'll attach it. Oh, it's stuck on that tree. Oh. Uh, we'll attach it to the light post. That should help us out a little bit.
just need this tree to pop out of the ground a little bit. Lean back up. And then try and go. There we go. It's getting around. Cool. That'll do it. Let me get back to the truck view. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, that's a deep mud pit. Winch out a little bit. Let's go a little quicker. Maybe I should have got fuel, because <laughs> we've already spent 10 gallons. <laughs> right, go to the left a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll go right here. a little bit. Oh, <laughs> pop the tree out. There's the lumber mill. Wait, the P12 has the lowest power to weight to me? I wouldn't have guessed that at all, because to me it seems like it has more power than necessary. Like, it, I never need say like, oh, I wish the P12 just had more power. <laughs> That's surprising. All right, quick 3,400 bucks. Then what next? Morrison Mining only has one more. I think I might just do that. So we need service spare parts, four of them, metal beams, two fuel, and one small pipe. Sure, let's work on that. So we can grab two fuel right there. Oh, really low to torque for its weight? That's surprising. So we can get fuel there, and then we can get probably metal beams there. Okay. Actually, I wonder if this the road this way is quicker, or not as muddy. Nah, I bet it's not. We'll go out the way we came. Really? People are crazy. <laughs> I feel I feel like the uh, the engines, especially the. Um, I think I'm using not the most powerful engine for this. I think I'm using like the middle, which seems to be really. It suits me really well. All right, let me just accept that task just so we have it. back this trailer up a little bit. Just get by that tree. And we're on our way.
You know what? Let's let's see what's to the left. Should drive it eventually. See how well the road is. Boom, 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 boom. So one small pipe, two fuel, one metal beam, and four service spare parts. So the trailer we currently have fits five spots, and the metal beams take up two. So we, we'll have to make a couple trips. Am I near an upgrade? Let's see if I can find it. Sometimes you can see the box. I can't see it. Oh, maybe it's up here? Oh, I went past it, so it is around here? Let's see... It was the turn you just... Oh, down this turn? Hmm. Okay. I'll just back up then, and I'll drop the trailer. So just park the trailer right there. And go down the turn. Oh, I should have backed it up a little bit more. Secret upgrade. Keep an eye out. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, there it is. Oh, I hit a stump. Drove up on that stump. Oh, come on. Get off it. There we go. Oh, hitting another one. <laughs> There's so many stumps here. Alright, what do we get? Race suspension for. Oh, the Western Star Twin Steer. All right, all right, that was worth it. I should really buy back the Twin Steer. I sold it for the P12. Worth it, in my opinion. But I would like to try the Twin Steer again, so I'll buy it eventually. All right, let's go hook up to our trailer again and be on our way. Yeah, when, when I first got the Twin Steer in the Michigan maps um, for like repairing it and everything, I didn't really have any of the unlocks unlocked for it. So it wasn't too good a truck for me at the time, and I was still a low rank, so I couldn't really get better tires for it too. So at the time, it was a really shitty truck for me. So I was like, well, maybe I'll try out the P12. And it really worked out for me well. All right, let's hook up to the trailer. Might be too far. Oh no, it might work out. Yeah, cool. Yeah, exactly, the P12 is much more stable. The twin steer is just so long. What the 
hill. Get up there. Get up there. Probably not wise to take a semi-trailer through here. <laughs> but we're doing it. This way is a little bit better than the road we came in, so not as much mud. It's a little side trail there. Now we'll go up and around here. Here is the lowest weight of the heavy trucks. Interesting. That would make sense, because then w once you load the cargo on top, that's going to make it really top heavy. Hmm. Yeah, that would make make sense. Hey, Din. How you doing this morning? Just get around this trailer. I think we'll go over straight across to the factory. Pick up probably metal beams over there. I'm guessing that's what we can pick up there. <laughs> you guys watch three of the same SnowRunner streamers? <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, I guess there isn't a lot of streamers that stream it, so you are going to run into the same ones. Do you guys watch other games on Twitch, or do you or do you two just watch SnowRunner? <laughs> then that would even make even more sense that you guys run into each other. All right, concrete blocks, metal beams. Okay, so just metal beams. So we'll grab the one metal beam. Let's back out of here. Mostly a snowrunner addict. I see. Yeah, I only I only stream it on Saturdays now, so. moving our camera. I, I seem to use the wide flatbed trailer because um, it's a really stable trailer most of the time. <laughs> if I'm not screwing around like what I'm trying to do here. Um, I it, it, it seems like a really easy trailer for the P12 to pull. And like I said, it, it seems 
way stable because it's so wide. And I like that it, it's able to hold five places. If I I really needed a trailer for four, um, but one of the only ones that does that is the like the trailer the ramped flatbed I believe. There isn't a four place trailer that hooks onto the high or low saddle, so I wish there was. So I use the wide flatbed. <laughs> I mean, that is true, yeah. I'm gonna flip it eventually, so... <laughs> but I mean, even if I flip it... Oh, jeez. Even if I flip it, um... I can still get a crane and flip it back. So it's not a good... I mean, not too bad. But I feel like I've flipped the... narrow... trailers more often, so... Alright, so I think we're going to go down to the fuel station, fill up the tanks, and also grab two things of fuel. Nah, I just leave all-wheel drive on all the time. <laughs> yeah, and the P12 can't take a low saddle. I'm gonna grab the two fuel first. There we go. Yeah, the P12 as a, as a crane truck works really well. All right, fill up the tanks. And then we can fit one more thing. But we are going to Mountain River. I think it might just go to Mountain River. Because we can always get the four service spare parts in Mountain River. So let's just turn around. into the little pocket right there. I don't know, maybe the maybe the trailer you was thinking of was the, the ramped flatbed? I'm not sure. Alright, let's see if we can just turn this around right here. It might hit these concrete blocks, but it might be able to pop over them. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I always drive over the guardrail. Oh yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Oh wow, it is wicked sunny outside today. Hmm, snuck up on me. <laughs> the window's like behind me so I don't see it like in my peripheral really. And it was dark when I started streaming, so didn't see the sun come up. All right, Din, have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your family. All right, so we're heading out to Mountain River. Man, Timmy, you know all the emotes. <laughs> We have one on standby for everything. Get family. <laughs> oh 
boom, 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 boom. And we have to deliver to the sawmill in Mountain River. I'm not sure where that is. It might be in the north part of the map. Not quite sure. We'll see once we get there. If you guys like the chat showing up on the stream I thought it would be good just because the um, because pretzel rocks posting the song name so when I upload this to like YouTube later the people watching on YouTube can see the the actual song title and stuff so I'm trying it out seeing how it goes oh you like it Timmy yeah, and it's not too, like, I have it set to, I think, 8 seconds is how long it keeps it up before it swaps it away. So I might make it a little bit longer, because I feel like it goes away a little bit quick, but I'm not sure. So I still need to zero it in a little bit. Yeah, that's a good point, um, slow-mo. I didn't think about that, people having it in full screen. Which is funny because, like, when I watch Twitch, it's usually out in my living room. Like, I watch Lyric a lot, um, so it's usually out on my living room, and I do have it full screen just on my TV. So that's a good point, put in the chat for lurkers and stuff. Hmm, and welcome, slow-mo. Alright, so we're going to the sawmill. Oh, that's wicked close. Okay, just have to go down the pavement. Yeah, that's true, you don't know what the streamer's responding to. <laughs> yeah, what or who, actually. Yeah, that's a really good point. I think for, like, games like this, I like having it up. Um... Because there's space on the screen for, like, a, there's an easy spot, like, I can put it on the right, or... I can even put it on the left, too. Or even back down in the middle, like I had it before. I think if it was like a, a more cinematic game, like if I was playing like Last of Us Part 2, I probably wouldn't have the chat on the screen, just because I feel like it ruins the immersion a little bit. But I mean, you are watching the stream. Yeah, exactly. It isn't intrusive to this game, really. Alright, let's drop these off. One metal beam, two fuel. And now we just need to get one small pipe and four service spare parts. Oh, thanks for following. Really appreciate that. Um, okay, I think the warehouse has small pipes. Let me just verify that. They do, okay. So we could <laughs> get followed. So we could go down the pavement here. Yeah, and then actually get fuel and then wrap back around and get those small pipes. So let's head out and do that. And we're actually at 111 followers now, so 111. So. Thanks everyone for the support. It's been crazy. I feel like I like just started streaming. And I already have over 100 followers. Thank you everyone. And then we have 16 subscribers on, on uh, YouTube, which is cool. Oh yeah, thanks Slomo. Yeah, during the weekend, it's earlier streams, 7 a.m. EST, but then during the week, I stream after work, so it's at 3 p.m. EST, and then I take um, random days off here and there when I need them. I don't have, like, a, a set day off. I 
And then one of my videos on, one of my SnowRunner videos actually on YouTube just got over 1,500 views, which is, I mean, it's not, <laughs> not a lot for crazy YouTube members, but personally, that's a, that's crazy for me. Seems like there's a big community for SnowRunner videos on Twitch and YouTube, which is cool. It's always cool to see little pockets of communities. So yeah. All right, so we'll get some fuel. We, we have 77 gallons, but since we're passing the fuel station anyways, might as well stop. Up over here. Actually, let me try and get on the other side of the concrete. So this trailer seems to always get hung up on it. Oh, thanks for following, cowboy. Alright, fuel up. Only 17 gallons. I'm just gonna go over here and then we take a right down the hill. Go get those small pipes. It's a good thing you don't have to pay for damage, really. <laughs> I would be bankrupt if, if you actually had to pay for repairs. <laughs> I haven't visited all the regions. I've just been um, working on all the contracts and stuff in each individual map, or each region, and then moving on after that. So we did everything in Michigan, and then now, well, now we're working on all the Alaska contracts and stuff like that. But then once we're done with Alaska, eventually, we will move on to Tamir. I believe that's what it's called, right? Yeah, pretty sure it's Tamir. Check that. Global. Yeah, we'll be going to Tamir. And then eventually, although maybe I'll switch to... Maybe I'll do some of the Season Pass ones, because they're smaller maps. And then come back to Tamir. We'll see. We still have a, a long ways to go, till We can't get done with the Alaska maps. <laughs> Alright, one small pipe from the warehouse. Oh, and that takes two spots. For some reason, I thought the small pipes only took up one spot, so we're going to have to make a couple more trips since we won't be able to fit all four service spare parts on the trailer. Oh, the season pass ones are the biggest maps. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, then I don't know what I'll do. We'll see. We'll come to it once I finish Alaska. Maybe I'll put it to a vote for you guys once we get there. Alright, so I might just go deliver this directly to the sawmill. So then we can just go pick up the four service spare parts. So it won't take us long to get to the sawmill. It's all paved roads. I could take that shortcut, but I think I'll just go along here. Lake Kovad and Namandra have super snow? Ooh. That sounds fun. Yeah, I did, I did mean fewer maps to me. But I mean, if they're, even if there's fewer maps, but they're the biggest maps, um, sort of evens out. We'll see. I mean, by the time we finish, finish Alaska, they might add another map, too. <laughs> so who knows what's going to happen. All 
Alright, go back down here. Just go deliver these small pipes. Ooh. We're on the other side of the gargoyle. There we go. And then we can pick the service fair parts up from the service hub in this map, so we don't have to go far to pick them up. So we'll be done with this mission pretty soon. Uh, pretty soon in SnowRunner terms, <laughs> which is like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Another secret upgrade, Timmy? All right, hold on. Let me let me deliver these to the sawmill, and then we'll get that. Deliver these pipes. Wonder what the sawmill is doing with these pipes. Maybe they're using them for like drainage or something like that. Alright, small pipes. Let's turn around. There we go. Alright, Timmy, where's the secret upgrade? This right? Um, I actually might have gotten it already. Because I took the scout here, down here, or one of my scouts down there at one point. So I, I think I actually did get that one. Unless I'm thinking of a different route, but I'm, I feel like I got one. Oh, a little bit of shadow. Alright, I'll go down there and check it out. Let me detach the trailer. We'll stick on all-wheel drive and go down there and check it out. See what we get. going. Let me switch to low plus. Hard to describe where. Is it going to be on the left or the right side of the this river? And am I just completely off the road? I feel like I am. <laughs> oh no, I'm on the road. Okay. Alright, let me switch back to low high. And get through this. I'm sort of hitting the branches a little bit. On the shore? Okay. Let me get down there. So much snow. It's so weird. We got like... Well, not real weird, but... <laughs> not in today's times, but... We got like... Close to two feet of snow from one storm about a week and a half ago and then all yesterday and last night it just rained all day so now we have like no snow there's just like snow banks and stuff like that by the shore oh you said it in a little bit of shadow so it's probably like over here 
Alright, let me drive over there. Okay, I see the- yeah, I see the car over there. I see what you're saying. Here you go. Let me- I'll go through here. I see it now, Timmy. Oh. That tree pushed me into the other tree. <laughs> Not the greatest truck to be going for this, but... You work with what you got. Unless we tip it. <laughs> then that's gonna suck. Alright, there it is. Down into the right. And there was probably a better way to get down there. Now I'm just going to fall off a rock. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can reach the winch. And let me skip this song. I hate the, like, glitching. Let me skip that. Alright, let me attach the winch. I'm just going to attach it to the tree in front of me. Sort of pull me out like that. <laughs> it worked. Actually, I might be. S no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, keep rolling. Keep rolling. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Alright, let me just put a uh, marker there so I don't forget. And. <laughs> oh, jeez. I should have just gone along the shore right there. Let me just recover that. And it's going to go to White Valley's garage. Oh, gee. Alright. Let's make our way back there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, but first, let me see if... Let me see if I have my scout out there. I don't. Okay. Let's just take the P12 out there again. Yeah, I'll take the P12. Why can't I move to garage? Oh well. Alright. Down, 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 down. Garage. Why can't I go in the garage? Oh, I'm in the garage. <laughs> what a fool. Alright, back to Mountain River. It won't take us too long to get back to Mount River. It's all paved roads there. I'm so glad there's a, a garage in White Valley. Some of the Michigan, Michigan maps were annoying because you had to go through like two maps just to get to the end of it. Because there's just that, like, two garages basically. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect to see the, the garage, Timmy. Like, after doing the Michigan maps where you go through... Oh man, I can't think of the Michigan maps names. But you go through the one with the dam. Smithville Dam. That one has the garage. And then you go to the next two maps that don't have garages. And it's like, oh, damn. <laughs> so I fully expected White Valley, this little map, to not have a garage. And then I got to it and I was like, oh, it, it was such a relief. Makes it a lot easier to do missions because you can swap between the garages and stuff. All right, let's get that upgrade part. Hello again, Chungy Bungy. Your name reminds me of the video game Bug Snacks, where the the burger. Bug just goes bunger bunger bunger. <laughs> that was a that was a crazy game. All 
Alright, we're about halfway there to the tunnel. Do I like the Lodestar Scout? I don't think I have the Lodestar Scout. That's the one that's like a little bit bigger than the other scouts, correct? I'm pretty sure that's what, what it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, then I haven't I haven't bought that one yet, Timmy. Do you use that one? It seems like it would be good, especially if you could put like a raised suspension on it. Oh, this upgrade is for is for the Lodestar. Well, that's all right. I like to just get all the upgrades. They're always good to have in case I use that vehicle, you know. And I've been meaning to buy the Lodestar. We do have quite a bit of money, also. Hundred percent. Oh, what mods are you using, Chunky Bungie? They added mods recently to the console versions, which is pretty cool. I haven't activated any because I'm not sure if the mods affect trophies or like achievements. So I haven't I haven't played around with the mods at all because I don't want to like um, lock myself out from getting trophies by using mods or something like that. I haven't looked into it. Oh, you don't know the names, and you think it does lock them out? I, I, I assume they lock you out, like that's what they did on other games that allowed you to do mods on consoles. Oh, they don't, Cowboys. Huh. Load stars, wider garages, number one or two best scout. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the next thing we purchase, or the next truck will be... Either I'll repurchase the... Um, twin steer, or I'll get the load star. Oh, it locks you out of them in RDR2. Interesting. I wish it was consistent. So, like, if you used mods, either you're safe or you're not. <laughs> I hate I hate stuff that are like game by game basis, especially like crossplay and stuff. That stuff is infuriating when it's like, well, this game has crossplay and this one doesn't. <laughs> I mean, understandably, it takes works for the devs to do and implement, but it would just be so much easier if you could say, oh, let's play this game, it has multiplayer. And it just had like local co op, online co op, crossplay co op, all that stuff. It'd be so cool if we, if we ever got to that point. Or just multiplayer, just assumed to be crossplay. Oh wait, I don't think this is the way. Back up. Loadstar is a unique custom paint job. Interesting. You're you're selling me on the Loadstar to me. <laughs> Oh yeah, the trailer we just left in the way. Maybe we'll get this upgrade, finish off the mission, and then go by the Lodestar. Check it out as a scout. Alright, we packed down the snow a little bit. <laughs> so it might not be as bad getting through here put on all-wheel drive and I'll stick it down below for a second. Maybe low high. Low high. Slowly getting through. I tried to go a bit more to the right so that we don't get hung up on that branch again. 
<laughs> You're gonna try the load star now, cowboy. <laughs> Timmy, number one load star salesman. <laughs> Alright, I think we just go down here and drive along the shore a little bit. Oh yeah, this looks like a much easier way. Yeah, I should have gone this way originally. <laughs> oh, a little bit closer. There we go. All right, raise suspension for the Lodestar. All right, let's back out of here. DLC only paint job. Hmm. Well, I have the season pass, so I might have the... Unless it's an extra DLC. Like, their extra trucks and stuff they do. Alright, let's just back out of here. And we can pick up the mission again. So we have to go for... Oh, jeez. Go get four server spare parts. Oh, it is with the season pass? Okay. We'll see it eventually. Alright, go back out this way to get our trailer again. I think we can probably just leave it in automatic. Whoa. Alright, I guess I'll shift down. <laughs> A little bit too much wheel spin. Oh, that's true, Timmy. Only about 10 have special paint jobs. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Just destroyed that tree. Alright, we'll back up to the trailer. And be on our way. Switch back to automatic. So we just have to go pick up four service spare parts and then bring them back down to the salmon. So that won't take us really any time at all. signs. Let's run them over. Alright, we don't really need fuel right now. We can get it on the way back, actually. And the service hub is right there. Really close, like I said. Oh, that's pretty cool, Timmy. I recently started drinking coffee, um, maybe within the past three months or so. Just decaf. 
I don't really need any extra caffeine than like a regular coffee would have. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's turn this trailer around. Hopefully don't hit the shipping container. Oh yeah, there we go. That was quite a successful backup. <laughs> Didn't tip the trailer like I usually do, so that's good. And then we go back down to the sawmill. I think we'll skip the fuel again. So we still have 65 gallons. Definitely, oh jeez, definitely more than we need. Yeah, I, do, I don't. I don't like a lot of extra caffeine. Um, and, I, and I never really feel like it does anything besides give me headaches. <laughs> so I, I try to stay away from caffeine. Speaking of coffee, I've just completely forgot about the coffee right next to me. <laughs> it's probably cold by now. It's already been almost two hours of playing this. <laughs> the, when you're playing this game, it just, the time just flies by. It's insane. I just get so sucked into the game. Alright, drop these off. And for 3300 bucks, 450 experience. So I'm gonna go to a trailer store and sell this trailer. There's one right back behind us. And then we'll head back to the garage and we'll buy that Lodestar Scout. We'll check it out. See this custom paint job Timmy's telling us about? And we just got the raised suspension for it. So we'll get, I think this trailer's worth like 5,000, I think. We'll see once we go to sell it. The way I buy and sell trailers, it's more like I'm just renting them. <laughs> Here's the trailer store. Oh really? Has some cool customizations? That's cool. Alright, sell the wide- oh it's worth 7500 Interesting. Alright, let's go recover to the garage. I'm surprised that the- that you're able to buy and sell trailers for the exact same price. Like, I, I would have thought that you buy them and then you sell them for, I don't know, depending on how long you ha you use them or something, maybe the price goes down. Alright, truck store. And scouts. And the Lodestar. 40,000. Purchase. 
Oh, I did. I should have done purchase and deploy. All right, customize it. Yeah, funny economy in the game. <laughs> All right, what do we have for engines? Increased power output, reliability, cost of fuel. Let's buy that. Or not buy it, we already have it unlocked. Mm, high range, off-road. I think I'll just keep balanced for now. Since I don't know how much I'll use this. Let's do the raised suspension. We'll put some big tires on it. And I'm going to do chain tires. Because we're in Alaska, so why not? All chains. Rear chains. We'll do all chains. 41 inches. I'm just going to keep the stock winch for now. Because I don't know how often I'll use this, and it's 10 grand for a new one. I will put the snorkel on, though. Ray Maddons. Pickup chassis. Oh, that looks so cool with the pickup chassis. <laughs> That's so neat. Service cab. The service cab would be pretty cool, though. And then a little loading crane. I think... Hmm... I think I'll do the service cab. Make it a little service truck. Alright. First let's... Oh, this is the custom paint job you were talking about to me. Sure, why not? We'll try that out. Angled with beacons. Rooftop. Fog lights. Beacons and fog lights. Let's do that one. Front bumper. What's the stock one? Hmm. I kind of like just the angled, because it looks stock, but it has a couple lights in it. I think I'm going to do just the angled one. <laughs> God bless the U.S. Uh, miscellaneous, what's in here? Cage beacons. Well, that just gets rid of my bar. Side chrome parking lights. Twin horn. External horns. And a searchlight. A searchlight? What the heck? Okay, let's buy that. Different wheels. I think I'm going to go with Rims 2. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Exterior customization. Hood ornament. Oh wow, those cost a lot. <laughs> 1200 bucks. Alright, let's go try this out. Thing sounds cool. Little puttering engine. Let's turn the lights on. Cool. First person. Check out the cab. Alright, pretty basic. It's an old truck, understandably. Alright. Let's drive it around a little bit. I actually need to go get this scout out of the river, so maybe we'll just go try that with this little load star. <laughs> you bet I'm smiling. You'd win that bet. <laughs> All right, let's go get see if we can get that scout with the scout. <laughs> it's actually really fast. Handles well. Pretty 
pretty stable on the road. Yeah, this is a nice truck. And I like that you can put a service add-on on the back. So you can repair some trucks with it. Alright, what's the best way down there? Looks like maybe if we come behind. I tried to take the P12 down there once, and it got stuck. <laughs> so maybe a smaller truck will do better. As long as I don't flip this thing. Oh, stump. Oh, I didn't even see that stump. Wow. It actually reverses really, really quickly. Must have a higher reverse. Oh, really? A full mid truck engine in a, sm in a small scout? That's pretty cool. Try and get through here. I feel like I'm gonna tip it. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Got off the small hill. Alright, let's turn it around. Try and get this scout out of here. Good thing we put the snorkel on. Alright, now just accept this mission and start tracking it. Deliver to parking, Scout 800. Wonder if it needs to be repaired at all. Repair, Scout. Oh no, it's just fixed. <laughs> Nothing even wrong with it. I think I'm gonna try and go out this way. Maybe. <laughs> Just bowl those those trees over. Actually, this might have been the wrong way. But we'll, we'll, we'll see once we get out there to the shore. Oh yeah, there's a little trail there. Cool. We can go up that way. Tons of mud. Yeah, this thing's crazy. <laughs> there's so much power. Stay on the road, buddy. I feel like it's winched to the front of the truck. Oh, jeez! Winched to the front of the truck. So the winch point looks... Yeah, it's like going underneath the truck. Oh, well. Seems to be working well. Why mess with success? There's so many lights on the front of this thing, too. <laughs> we have that searchlight, we have the light bar at the top, we have the normal headlights, then we have the new fog lights in the bumper. <laughs> we'll be able to see anything at night. Oh wow, that's super muddy. Oh, I see, it's referred to as a heavy scout. That would make sense. Let's try and go to the right a little bit. <laughs> All the lights. 
try and avoid the mud a little bit as much as we can. Yeah, this is a great scout truck. And it has a, a, quite a big fuel tank. 35 gallons is great. there. Oh wait, had have I I don't even think I've been to this watchtower. Cool. So we're doing like two jobs in one. We'll go activate that watchtower. And then I think that's the last watchtower I need to get in all the Alaska maps. Oh, jeez. This thing would probably be pretty good with hauling just a little trailer, too. Hey, thanks for following. The only sassy pants. <laughs> That's a great name. Really appreciate that. All right. Deliver that there. Quick $1,700. That's a great name. <laughs> Alright, let's activate this watchtower. Take a sip of coffee because it's probably cold by now. Actually, it's still, still warm. That's good. Alright, let's turn around. And for all the new people watching, thank you, I appreciate it. During the weekend, I go live at 7 a.m. EST. Saturday, it's SnowRunner Saturdays. And then Sunday is Demon Souls Sunday on PS5. And then during the week, I go live after work. So it's later at 3 p.m. EST. But then I also upload all my streams to my YouTube page. So you can always check it out there if you ever miss when I'm live. And then during the week it's more like variety streams. So I just pick whatever games I want to play. Lately it's been Immortals Phoenix Rising. Been trying to progress through, the, through that. Feel like a badass wearing those new slippers. <laughs> That's funny to me. And I've also been playing a little bit of Fall Guys during the week also. So if anyone has Fall Guys on PS4 or PS5, let me know. You can always play with me when I'm playing. So what are we working on now? I think I'm going to actually do this mission that's activated right now, this building materials. And we just have to get these three bricks that were deposited here, basically. So I think I might put the... I think I might grab the P12. Let me just recover this to the garage. And then we're going to put the crane on the P12. Crane, and then we'll get a small trailer to tow behind it. <laughs> that thing eats. Yeah, it goes. I, I assume you mean the fuel. It does seem to go through fuel quite quickly. All right, we have three bricks, so we might just do the ramped flatbed, or we could. Oh no, we can't do the heavy. That's a uh, low boy. Yeah, we'll do the ramped flatbed trailer. As much as I hate it. It'll just be easier. And make our way out to the bricks. Although... You know what? I have the White Western Star out here. With the flatbed on it. Or maybe I don't. 
Oh, I might not. Oh, I do. Cool. From the map, it didn't look like it has the flat body on it. Um, so I could actually load the bricks right onto that. Rather than trying to haul a trailer through here. I think I'm going to do that. So let me switch back to the P12 and we'll sell this trailer. Oh, I hate backing up these trailers. Ones that have like the movable axle. And then we'll just take the P12 out there and then we can load them right onto the Western Star. So let me sell this. And it'll be much easier going through those trails out behind the lumber mill. We could even take some of the fuel from the P12 to put into the Western Star so it doesn't run out of gas. And don't forget you guys can do exclamation commands in the chat to see all the commands you can run, such as watch time, follow age, Twitter, Discord, YouTube, which those three give you links to all those things. You don't need to be a subscriber to join our Discord. So check that out. And then my Twitter, I mainly just post or tweet when I go live. And then sometimes like I'll break out um, a highlight from the stream or a screenshot from the screen and I, I tweet that out. So I don't, I don't tweet a lot, so don't worry about being flooded by tweets, <laughs> like garbage tweets. All right, let's just fill the tank while while we're driving by. Didn't even have to stop, <laughs> bro. And we're gonna go rather than I decide rather than going down this trail again. We're going to take the P12 all the way up the paved road, and then we'll take this right and collect this brick here, and then we'll work our way down. So then we're working our way towards the sawmill. So should be easier. is so bouncy when you add the crane on top of it. So much more weight you're hauling right on the right on the shocks and springs. Although I think the I think there's just leaf springs in the back. the Western Star in a while, and I really enjoy that truck, especially with the flatbed on it. It's good at hauling trailers too, but I like using it as a quick, like, two-cargo delivery truck. Works really well. Gets through basically anything, and it's really quick. It's an all-around good truck, I think. So we're going to go down this trail. And then there are the bricks. I think I'm going to park the P12 down here, and then we'll load the bricks up on the bridge. 
So let me switch to the Western Star. What motor do you have in the Western Star? Um, I think it's the stock one. Can I check that without going back to the garage? Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think it's... Actually, it might be the first, the first upgrade. I'm not sure. We can check that after I do the mission, if you want. But I know, I know it's not the the most powerful one. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Almost just backed right off the mountain. <laughs> Wonder if I could go down that hill. Is it worth it? I think it is. Let's try and go down this. Hopefully I don't flip. Oh, okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought. I just couldn't see it as easily because of the... Because it's at night time. Oh, but I'm going the wrong way. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I'm... I'm not sure if I unlocked that yet. Or, or got it. I need to check that out. Alright. Down this road. I need to get rid of this trailer eventually. Too bad you can't sell trailers, like, remotely. All right, let's turn this around. We still have about half a tank in this, so should be pretty good for a while. It doesn't use too much fuel. Turn, buddy, turn. Don't want to go flying off the bridge. There we go. Alright, I think right there is probably good. Let me switch back to the P12. Activate the anchor. Oh, I need to start the engine. All right, crane mode. Let's grab these bricks. stop the engine, change over to the Western Star, and I'll pack the cargo, and we'll head out to the next pile of bricks. And then once we get there, we'll switch back to the P-12 and drive that out too. I think I have the off-road transmission in the Western Star currently, so it works pretty well too. Only has four gears in automatic, and then obviously low, low, high, and low, low. There's the next pile of bricks. Let me think of where to put the Western Star. I think maybe right here. 
be good right there. Stop the engine. And switch to the P12. Drag this puppy out. I wonder if I can get up this way. Let me see. Oh yeah. Headlights would help. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoy using it with the flatbed on it. Like if you ever have just like one or two things I need to deliver, it works really well. Alright, we're almost to the bricks again. I'll pull alongside the right side of the Western Star. Almost in the water, basically. Right there. Winch this up. And then we'll have to go deliver these to, to the lumber mill with the Western Star, and then we'll come back. Oh, the Western Star has a, a custom paint job too? I th actually, I think I might have seen it. I tend to paint all my trucks the... It's like in the bottom right. It's the green and white, typically, colors. That's sort of like my fleet color, <laughs> if you will. All right, let's restore the crane, stop the engine, and switch to the Western Star. We need to pack the cargo. There we go. All right, let's go deliver these two bricks. shouldn't take us too long to get there. It's relatively close. And I think it was definitely wise to do this using the Western Star and the P-12 with the crane rather than trying to pull that ramped flatbed trailer through here with the P-12. I think it's working out better. Exactly, Sassy Pants. The the bandit is so top heavy. <laughs> I found it works really well when you attach, um, when you put like a low boy trailer on it, uh, and then you have a lot of weight on the trailer. It seems to keep it a little more stable because the the weight of the trailer tongue is like pushing down on on the bandit body a little bit. I haven't used it much, but that's usually what I use it for put like the wide flatbed trailer on it. Yeah, the lumber mill was actually closer than, than I thought. Oh yeah, the bandit's definitely a beast. <laughs> Especially the turning radius is, is so great. Alright, unload these and head back out there. And let me just see, make sure I've accepted this mission. I think I did the last time we were out here, but just for peace of mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the one we're doing. <laughs>
Alright, head back out to that other pile of bricks. Don't hit the light pole. I think this mission was going to give us, I think, $3,200, so not a lot. Alright, we'll turn this around so it's ready to go back to the lumber mill once we load it with the P12. good. Stop the engine and switch to the P12. Have you guys been getting all the um, free games from the Epic, Epic Game Store? They've been getting a, giving a free one away every day. For the past, I think, almost week by now. And they've been pretty good. Like yesterday was Darkest Dungeon. And I'm not sure what today's game is. But even if you don't have a... a gaming PC now or just a PC, it'd still be worth it to just go onto their store and claim them for if you ever do get a PC, you know? Alright, let's grab these bricks. Green mode. Winch it up. Oh, needs to be a little taller. Or higher. <laughs> and put it on the Western Star. Drop it. Restore the crane. Stop the engine. And change to the Western Star cargo and we're on our way it's a shame you can't put chain tires on the p16 i would use it much more if you could I and mean, you, you can't even change the tires at all but if you could put chains on it i would definitely use it more in the alaska maps really great for hauling like the super heavy trailer where it's the eight place trailer i think that's what it's called super heavy or something like that because it's such a uh, shorter wheelbase it makes it easy to turn it all right let's deliver these bricks oh it was not 3200 dollars. it was 1200 <laughs> that's nothing at all all right Wait, there's another scout that's missing? Oh, this one way out here. I forgot about that one. Hmm. You know what? How about we take the... Our new Lodestar. And I'm just going to recover this to the garage. Let's take out our new Lodestar. And drive out and get that scout. Yeah, exactly, Timmy. It's it's way better on tougher terrain than the P12. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's because the P16 has a shorter wheelbase than the P12. It's just like a little bit more compact. I think I'm going the right way. 
Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna go along here. Go up. And I think... Yeah, we'll take this left. And then we'll take this left. Although... Yeah, we'll go that way. And then... Smooth sailing all the way there. sound of this load star too. <laughs> Has a very like puttery engine. I think I'd, I'd definitely spend the money to improve the winch on it. I think maybe the autonomous winch so that if I do flip it, I can use the winch to flip it back. So maybe we'll buy that. I think it was like 9400 bucks. So not too bad, but it's a lot of money. Alright, take this left. song reminds me of like Interstellar. <laughs> Feels like it'd be something in that movie. Alright, go down this. On our way to the Scout 800. Search and rescue. And this one won't give us much money at all either, but I enjoy doing them. It's fun to tow vehicles. Yeah, exactly, when they're trying to match the, the ship spinning. <laughs> I really need to watch that again. Uh, I bought a really nice, like, 4K TV this year. Um, so I really, uh, maybe I'll see how much it is for the 4K Blu-ray. I would definitely watch it again. Oh jeez, oh jeez, thought we were flipping. Yeah, it's a it's a nice um. I actually have the have it down in my about section on Twitch, or if, if you're on desktop, it's down there. But it's in the like Amazon blacksmith um, that shows you everything I'm using to stream and stuff. All right, we're already tracking it. Let me just fill up the fuel tank. But it's a Sony X900H, I think it's called, or is it the 950? I think it's the X900H. Okay, let's refuel. Just five gallons, but that's fine. Oh, it's still 1080? Uh, 1080 is still fine. Depending on like how far you sit from the screen and stuff, 1080 is fine. I mainly got it because I knew I was getting the PS5. Uh, and I just wanted a, a 4K screen for the PS5. like we're gonna cross oh I drove past it <laughs> good thing I looked at the map let me skip this song because it has glitching in it it's just distraction or distracting <laughs> all right drive along the shore Looks like there's a little bit of a road right out there.
Oh yeah, this isn't difficult to get out here at all. Wow. <laughs> I thought the water was going to be way deeper. I could have taken like the P12 out here. Alright, is this the same mission? Yep. Alright, let's turn around, connect to the scout. the scout a little closer. Where is it? Yeah, that's a fine distance. And we actually don't even need to deliver it far. It's just like up at the top of the hill here. At that warehouse. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, safe. <laughs> Saved. Yeah, it does. I agree. This sounds like a song you'd have in, like, a, a Dark Souls or a Demon Souls. Alright, so we deliver it here. And that's a quick thousand bucks. Two thousand almost. Alright, what next? So we did everything in Morrison Mining, so that's cool. What about Blackbirds? We just have a couple. From water to the land. Drilling spare parts time. Four. Okay. So where is this? We have to deliver them to the factory and pick them up there. Oh, that's a that's that's a very quick or a short route. All right, see you, cowboy. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Thanks for following too. All right, I'm going to recover this back to the garage. And we'll take out the oh no, the P12 is still out there. I forgot. Let me just recover this back to the garage. And I'm going to take off the crane again. It's cool you can put a fuel tank on the P12 also. That'd be a really cool fuel truck. So we'll put the high saddle back on. And head out. We'll grab a trailer on our way out. I assume the drilling spare parts are just boxes. So I'm just going to get a four-place trailer. Or actually, I'll get the, the five wide flatbed. We're going to take a left and go all the way out there. Okay. It'll be quick getting out there. up anything from this service hub before. <laughs> I feel like I always just drive by it.
All right, we can see the factory. I wonder why they were suggesting an off-road truck for this. Unless these are like really heavy or something. But it doesn't seem like... I don't, I don't know why you would need an off-road truck. Oh man, there was a, a wide flatbed trailer here. <laughs> I should have noticed that. Alright, drilling spare parts. I think I might just back out. into that tree. Didn't turn it quite enough. There we go. Yeah, and the bot did just post our link to my Extra Life campaign. So until the end of the year, so about, uh, what, five more days? Yeah, we're raising money for Extra Life. My Extra Life campaign specifically goes to Boston's Children's Hospital. We've raised over $100 so far. So if you have any interest in looking in that, can go there. The stream's actually embedded on that page along with the chat so you won't miss anything. So if you want any more information about that you can click that link and check it out. Yeah this is gonna be a really quick mission. These must weigh a lot. I don't, I don't see any other reason why they would have suggested the off-road truck. Because there was just that little patch of dirt road. <laughs> but other than that, it was just paved roads all the way there. that pixelated bush it's weird since the last patch that keeps happening if you look at the bushes on the side of the road they're pixelated until you get really close like see all those um, and then they like pop into their full geometry all right so deliver these four service spare or drilling spare parts here let's back up a little bit how much we're gonna get for this $1,500 that makes sense it, did, it didn't take long at all so that makes sense okay so that was really quick what, what are we gonna do next let's continue down the blackbird once more parts oh just more drilling spare parts so let's just do that one and then where are we delivering them to mountain river okay so this one will take a little longer Let's go pick up those spare parts again.
turn, trailer turn. Oh, camera's getting hung up on the building. I <laughs> can't really see. Oh, geez, there it goes. There was a quicker way to back up this trailer. And that is to just not suck at backing up trailers. <laughs> it's like no matter how many hours I play this game, I still suck at backing up trailers. <laughs> Put on all wheel drive. Alright, so we'll go pick up four more drilling spare parts. And then we need to deliver them to the warehouse in Mountain River. So it won't take long to get them. And then it actually won't take too much longer to, to get to Mountain River. side trail. I can't think of where the warehouse in Mountain River is, but most everything is pretty accessible in Mountain River. There's paved roads like throughout everything, except for that one yeah, that one warehouse right in the middle of the map. You have to go kind of off-road for that, so I, I bet you that's where the delivery is. That's probably why it's saying it needs a or off-road truck suggested. Uh, that's probably why. Alright, pick up four more of these. And turn around. I think I'll do the same thing I just did where I backed out of the actual place. Oh, jeez. That was a good backup. I only hit one thing. <laughs> Progress. We have more than enough fuel, so we don't have to worry about that for now. get on the paved road it'll be quick to the mountain river tunnel i mean the the drilling spare part boxes sort of look maybe a little bit bigger than the other boxes but maybe i'm just imagining things which is <laughs> entirely possible <laughs> Get over there, P12. Mm. 
So the PS5 is actually rendering or displaying in 4K. Um, and then I have it routed to my 27 inch 1440p monitor. So it's actually being like downscaled in a way. And then it's being downscaled to you guys to 1080p. So it actually produces quite a sharp image. I think it looks really good on stream. Sometimes when, when there's a lot of motion, the bitrate can't keep up, but it's not really my fault. It's just, you can't stream, <laughs> you can't, I can't have a higher bitrate on Twitch, unfortunately. Unlike YouTube, where I think you can have like a, a 12,000 bitrate on your live shows, which is crazy. to the tunnel. Just need to go right up here. Hey Meat Plow. How you doing today? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> Just slam the trailer off that. Just at the top of this hill, and we can go through the tunnel. The tunnel. Alright, off to Mountain River. It's, it was actually a big update, Meat Club, because, <clears throat> excuse me, because they added mods to console versions. So that's probably the mod update. So now you can play with mods, and they, they did a couple other, like, um, quality of life updates and stuff, fix some bugs. But the main big thing is mods on cons console. Oh, there's another? Oh, cool. Huh, then I don't know. <laughs> the latest one I knew was about mods, so maybe they fixed some bugs or something. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to look up and see if there's an update I'm missing. I play put all-wheel drive back on. And then it actually wasn't the warehouse I was thinking of. I thought it was going to have us go to this warehouse again. But it's actually the warehouse over here. So we can just drive along the paved road the whole way there. And I think we'll pick up some fuel as we pass that fuel station. Not this first one coming up on the right, but the one past the bridge. not hit the trailer on the bridge again. <laughs> I think it's going to do it. Oh no, we're good. Okay. APV mod. Oh, that's pretty cool. APV with big tires. Yeah, I haven't really looked through the mods because um, I, I wasn't sure if they affected getting trophies and achievements. And, and someone, I forget who in the chat, but someone in the chat said it doesn't affect them, so... Maybe I'll look into them next time. I think it might have been Sassy Pants? One of you, one of you guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll look at the mods next time then. 
see if there's any. Maybe that'll be next Saturday's SnowRunner stream. Maybe we'll play around with some mods. Check out what's going on. That'd be fun. Actually, I'm just gonna skip the fuel. And we're just gonna go make this delivery, and then we'll come get fuel on the way back. Oh, you thought the same thing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they sort of, they have to, like, the developers have to approve what mods are going on the consoles, so I'm, I guess they would just not approve a mod that's like, get all, like, unlock all the trophies at once, like, so. That must be why they can say that it doesn't affect trophies or something, which is really cool. Going down to the warehouse. Yeah, the bandit, um, the bandits, I would say it's all right. Exactly, that's, what, yeah, that's what someone else was saying. It's way too top heavy. All right, let's deliver these. Cool. Oh. All right, what next? Blackbird. So we did all the blackbird ones. We've done all the Morrison mining ones. What's this village delivery? Deliver to the village two cement and two consumables. All right. Let's do this one. So we can pick up consumables from the service hub and we can probably get two cement from the warehouse. So let's go do that. if we can turn around first. Did I unlock all the Alaska vehicles yet? I... Th I think I did. I... I want to say I did. But I'm not 100% sure. I think I did, though. Unlock all the Alaska vehicles. I'd have to go check. What a good-looking game. Especially with this song right now. <laughs> so majestic. I mean, the, the song's called Depression, but we'll, we'll ignore that. <laughs> All right, take a left here. I think I'm going to skip the fuel station yet again because we're going to pass the second one also so I'll just get fuel then. No need to waste time stopping for fuel.
which will stop into here and get two of the consumables. stuck on. Oh, the trailer was hitting that. Okay, two consumables. Oh, totally just went the wrong way. <laughs> Easier to pull it in here and back out. But we'll try. Oh yeah, we're hitting a tree. Okay. <laughs> I'll turn around in the yard. to take a wider turn so we don't hit the trailer on the either the concrete fence or the telephone pole. bridge and then through the woods and to grandmother's house we go <laughs> no we're going across the bridge and then to the fuel station <laughs> and then we're actually going through the woods to get to the warehouse to pick up those two cement fuel station. We have to turn around anyway, so I'm going to go buy it and then turn. Alright, full tank. We're going to go back down, and we'll take that right, right before the bridge that's covered in snow. Right here. Then we just need to come up here to the warehouse to get those two cement. And then we can make our way to the village for delivery. And thanks everyone for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to follow so you can be notified when I go live. If you're new, I go live on the weekends at 7 a.m. EST. 
and then during the week I go live at uh, right around 3 p.m. EST. Oh, let me shift to low gear. Get up the hill. I think I'm going to come around the right side of the tree. So I usually come along the left and it's hard to back out. Let me switch back to automatic. And I really need to just get rid of this trailer. <laughs> so I'm just going to push it out of the way. It's just always in the way. Get out. Oh, jeez. Get out of here. Alright. Two cement. And then we can back out of here. Hopefully. It'll hit the tree a little bit, but it should pivot around. Oh, no. Let me back that up. Oh, jeez. I jackknifed it. Should pivot. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Alright, back down we go. Might have to shift to low gear, but we'll see. See if the tires start spinning. Actually, let me just shift to low plus or low high. Keep my momentum going. Ooh, there we go. Shift to low. Really? Wow. Go low, low. Nothing? Hmm. They winch a little bit. Just get over that little hump, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it was probably just like a little rock stuck on one of the tires. Stopping me from going. There we go. Let me shift back to automatic. And make our way to the village. Let me just take a look at the map for a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna go up here. And then take this dirt oh yeah I guess we have to take that dirt road so let me put a mark there so I know and then I'll put one right there also okay might be tricky getting this long trailer through there but we'll see might not be too bad Turn, buddy, turn. Oh, <laughs> the trailer's stuck. Let me back up a little bit. Keep to the left. And then swing it in. There we go.
Alright, this is going to be a little bit of a tricky turn, because it's sort of on a hill. A little bit of an incline. Um, so let me go... Try and turn in at the last moment. So we're going to have to get around that light pole. It's going to drag on it just a little bit, but it should be fine. Alright, the trail's not too bad so far. It is kind of narrow, but it's not overly muddy or snowy. Then turn down here. I love how the tires, like, actually get muddy and snowy. Such cool detail. Alright, we're almost there. I think this mission was, like, 3,000 bucks. It's not a ton of money. And we're ranked 24 now. We got 3,500 bucks. Cool. Alright, what next? What's next on the list? Town supplies. Deliver to the town in White Valley. Two concrete blocks, one small pipes, and two wooden planks. Hmm. Can we get wooden planks in Mountain River? Oh, we can at the sawmill. Okay. Let's, um... Yeah, let's go get those wooden planks then. Just need to back this out of here. Man, I keep going the wrong way when I'm backing up. Oh, I just destroyed their picnic table. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Alright, heading out. So we'll be able to get two wooden planks and I think still fit the small pipes. And then we can come back for concrete blocks. Although maybe I could go, I could grab the Western Star with the flatbed and come back for the concrete blocks. That could work also. Yeah, I'm gonna come out this way and then go back down the paved road. So let's go left.
All right, and then taking a right out of here will be a lot easier than trying to turn in to the small trail. There we go. The sawmill's right there. Wing in. Two wooden planks. And then yeah, we could also... The small pipes take two spots on the trailer. So that would leave us with one more spot. So we could go get one concrete blocks, but we would have to come back anyways, so we'll just keep less weight and we'll just get the small pipes and come back for both of the concrete blocks. So we're going to go out of here, go up the road, and then turn right, and then turn another right back down the paved roads to get to that warehouse on the other side. Do a little first person. Keep an eye on the trailer. Even though there's no lights back there, really. We should also get fuel as we come up to the top of this hill. Look at the moon. Alright, let me switch back to third person to get into the fuel station. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I get stuck on those concrete blocks, or the, the trailer gets stuck on the concrete blocks every time. So what I'm going to do is just pull in straight here, a little bit more, there we go, fill up, and then I'm just going to back up a little bit, and turn like normal. And then I don't even, even have to worry about the concrete blocks. take this right to go down to the warehouse to get that small pipe. the new Wonder Woman movie because it's on HBO Max so that'll be cool I've seen mixed reviews so far but I always like to be my own judge of movies and I enjoy superhero movies anyways so alright let's get this small pipe there we go and then we need to go to White Valley which is the tunnel over there. Hmm. All right, we're gonna have to go back up again. So let me turn around. Jack knife the trailer a little bit.
but only just enough to get through. should just slide along the telephone pole and be good. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now we just head up. such a good truck. <laughs> I think I say it every time I play, but it's just such a good overall, like, overall good truck. Has great add-ons you can put on it. Has great power. Really stable. Just a good truck. If you guys play, what do you think your, like, most used truck is? What do you enjoy the most? For me, it's obviously the P12. <laughs> and the Western Star. Alright, we're gonna go by that fuel station. Still have 85 gallons. Around the big hole in the road. Alright, we're going to keep going down this and then we're going to take that left onto the bridge, go across the bridge, and then go up to the White Valley Tunnel. Use the Tega with mud tires. Hmm, is that, a, is that one of the Russian maps trucks? Because I don't think I've used that truck yet. Use the Azov, cool. It's so cool that, like, this, based on the way you play, everybody has, like, a different truck that they like to use the most. Azov is pretty big, but it is a, it's a wicked good powerful truck. <laughs> it's great for hauling the big, big equipment for those big missions. But yeah, definitely. Tight, tight corners are its downside, especially in a long trailer, too. I'm gonna skip that fuel. Just go straight to the tunnel. Keep it towards the left over here so the trailer doesn't hit the telephone pole. I think it only hit it a little bit there. the tunnel. Off to White Valley. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. 
Bum, bum. All right. All the drive, headlights, back in business. Oh, but actually, let's plan out our route a little bit. Oh, we're going all the way down to the town. Okay. That's not too bad. It's paved all the way there. Just get around these narrow corners. There we go. It should be smooth sailing all the way to the town. If I don't make any stupid mistakes. <laughs> like just driving over the guardrail. Like I seem to do every once in a while. P12 doesn't go so fast that it just like slips out of control. If I was using the Western Star with the flatbed, that thing flies. <laughs> and then you have some weight on the back if you're hauling anything, and it's difficult to stop and turn. Tip that thing over quite a lot. Mistake, small mistake. <laughs> you didn't see that. Nothing happened. For the huge trailer special missions, you use the Colob 74760. Hmm. Yeah, there's so many of the trucks I still haven't driven because I haven't been to the Russian maps yet or the like DLC maps at all so it'll be fun once I finish all the Alaska missions once I head to Tamir see all the new trucks and stuff Russian trucks are very good Ooh, I'm excited to get there Look at all the birds in the sky. Oh, scared that one out of the tree. No! Oh! <laughs> he's safe, he's safe. I wish you could do a quick double honk. You know, like... Tag is unlocked after a rescue mission very close to the start of the first map in Russia. Okay. Thanks for the tip. That's cool that it's unlocked so quick. And it's like one it's one you use a lot. That's cool. Right, we're almost to the town. Yeah. Take this left. Oh, really? <laughs> Put a race suspension, huge mud tires. All right, I look forward to it. All right, let's deliver these pipes, deliver the wooden planks and go get the concrete blocks.
Oh, but actually, I want to use the Western Star. Which I think I put back in the garage? So let's go to the garage. Yep, yeah, it's in the Western Star. There it is. So let's take this out. And then we'll go pick up those two concrete blocks. Which I think we have to go... Oh, we might be able to get them from this factory. Cool, that won't take long. I think the only way, or the only place to get cement, like just like the bags of cement, in the Alaska maps is in Mountain River. So that's what I was, I was thinking about. The only problem with Tega is that it cannot fit both the crane and the flatbed. Oh, that makes sense. Although it seems like whenever, like I had a crane on this Western Star along with the flatbed, and I feel like I never used that the little crane a lot. It always seemed like it didn't have enough power for what I for what I was trying to do with it. Although maybe that's that's my fault. <laughs> Let me skip this song. There we go. Oh wait, I think I can use the multimedia keys on my keyboard. Let me see. Oh, I can. Cool. Okay. I was going. <laughs> I was going to the actual window, but I can just use my keyboard. All right, off to the factory. Headlights would help. Yeah, this truck slides around a little bit because <laughs> it gets going so fast. It starts drifting, fish channeling a little bit on the rear end. I'd love to play this game with an actual wheel and like pedals. I feel like that'd be so cool. Very few missions ask you to do that and you have the bandit. But yeah, that's true. I always forget about the bandit. Alright, two concrete blocks. To the town. Almost drove out <laughs> drove out the road. I was looking out the window, thought I heard something. Yeah, I've, no I've noticed that. Uh, is, it, is your name Dacian? Is that how you pronounce it? Or, or is it Dacian? But yeah, I've, I've, I've discovered that too, where like, you need tire pressure for the bandit to work really well. Oh, Dacian. Okay. Yeah, but I've noticed that you need, it needs like, down pressure in the bandit to work really well. And then it has like, amazing traction. But I do find it a little top heavy. And I wish I had a bigger fuel tank also. <laughs> it seems like it has a really tiny fuel tank. So it's good for shorter missions, but long haul missions not not so much.
turn, buddy, turn. Alright, almost back to the town. Let me just pop on all-wheel drive. We got 6,000 for that. I was only expecting like three. Nice. All right, what next? Valley Polar Base Research. Oh wow, they need a lot. Two wooden planks, one cement, two fuel, one metal beam, and two service fair parts. And we have to deliver them all there. Okay, so we can get the wooden planks over here, we can get the service spare parts there, the cement will have to go to Mountain Valley, or Mountain River. Best tanker in the game all hands is the TUZ420 Tatarin. Little tank. Oh, I've seen that in the store. I haven't bought it because I haven't been to the Russian maps, but yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Hmm. 300 to deliver anywhere. <laughs> Plus extra on top of it. Alright, let's check out a different mission. Cargo Apocalypse is going to take a different 8 bricks and 4 concrete slabs. Wow. And then there's oil barrel delivery. Deliver 5 oil barrels to the airdrome. Oh, and I can get them at the drilling site. Let's do that real quick. Because I can switch to... P12 with its five place trailer and get them all at once. I'm definitely excited to use all the Russian vehicles now, <laughs> since you've been telling me about them, Dacian. Alright, we should be able to turn around. Yeah, we just keep going out this way. Back on the road. I think we'll stop at the fuel station on the way by. We still have a lot, but might as well top off the tank as you <laughs> as you drive by, you know. Skip that one. I'm glad we have a we had a fifth place trailer on this. So we can just do this all in one trip. Get all five of these oil barrels and bring them right back to the airport. Pull in here for some fuel.
And there we go. Full tank. Try not to hit the concrete block. And we hit it. <laughs> Both of them, actually. Do I need to go... Yeah, I need to go down this road. That's what I was thinking. tree stuck in front of the wheels Oh, you know, I think I have been here before. I think I must have picked up some oil barrels for a different mission earlier. I was thinking I hadn't been here before, but I'm pretty sure I have. delivery. Whoa! Down the trail. a nice song. Oh, trailer was hung up on something. Probably just a rock. Man, those birds are still flying around. <laughs> just creamed that bird. It's weird from this angle, like doing the perspective from the trailer. I wonder if I wonder if there's anyone that like actually drives from this angle. Like most of the time. It's good once in a while when you're trying to find winch points for the trailer and stuff like that. At least that's that's how I use this camera angle, but I wonder if anyone actually drives like this for the majority. Whoa! 
Alright, we're almost there. Get some quick money from this one. I like how all the oil barrels, barrels, barrels are basically leaking. <laughs> great, great quality control there, guys. You know what? Actually, this camera angle is actually pretty useful. <laughs> I just never really used it before to to realize that. It's actually really good. I'm just going to drive through the snow here. Alright, switch back. Make this delivery. Two thousand bucks. That's not bad. We're already back up to seventy-three, or se yeah, seventy-three thousand. That's good. We're well on our way to purchasing another vehicle after buying the Lodestar. All right, let's take a look at the contracts again. See what we want to work on. We did all the Blackbird. So we just have left for contracts in the Alaska maps. Cargo Apocalypse and Valley Polar Base Research. I think I want to do the Valley Polar Base Research. So let's activate that. Start tracking it. And I think we'll get working on that next Saturday for part six of SnowRunner Saturdays. Thanks everybody for watching. This will be it for today. I'll be back on tomorrow, 7 a.m. EST, for Demon Souls Sunday on PS5. It'll be part 4, I believe. So yeah, I'm making slow progress in the game. It's my first Dark Souls game ever, um, so I'm not terribly good at all. <laughs> so I'm slowly making my way through it. Last playthrough, I got to the cave spider in the second um, like world. He just like instantly killed me basically, but I got there. <laughs> so, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time. If I don't see you tomorrow, have a good rest of your weekend, and I'll see you during the week. And then during the week, it'll be 3 p.m. EST, and it'll be more uh, more of Immortals Phoenix Rising, some Fall Guys, and maybe some new games if they come out. We'll see. So, thanks for following everybody that did. If you're not following, make sure you follow so you can be notified when I go live. You can check out, do some commands in the chat. You can check out my YouTube channel there. You can check out my Twitter there, and you can check out the Discord. You don't need to be a sub to join the Discord, so check all three of those out. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.